Hey guys and welcome back to new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this top up bar with different icons and with the badge. Let's get started. Here I have a scaffold, and as I said in the previous video, uh, we can have here a top bar, bottom bar, and etc. In this video, we need this top bar. And the top bar can have the small top up bar or medium or large. But by the default, uh, we are using the small top up bar. So if I write top up bar, that means a small top up bar. Later, I will tell you why I'm focusing on this uh, sizes. Uh, here we need a title modifier uh, navigation icon and uh, actions and we can use the rest as well so as the title i'm going to add the text top up that's enough okay let's add the navigation icon comma navigation icon again it was composable and here uh, we should have icon button or icon toggle button so i'm going to add icon button We don't need anything for the unclick and here I'm going to add an icon. Icons dot default dot menu for example and for the content description I'm going to write just a string it can be menu icon okay uh, let's go further we need uh, actions and this one as well is composable so after this navigation icon i'm going to add a comma and adding actions composable okay here the build is done and here we have this uh, navigation icon the menu icon and uh, the actions can be icon button or buttons based on your design here we have a row and this icon buttons will be located inside this row just here in the example we had uh, two icons two icon buttons as well so i'm going to add them here let me copy and paste this and i'm going to change outline dot favorite border outline dot uh, shopping cart okay we have the icons here uh, now if we want to have this text in the middle of uh, this area what you have to do here in the title we have only a text but as it is a composable i can add a box here with modifier uh, dot fill 
max width and now it occupies all of this area then Content alignment, alignment center. Now let's drag and drop the text inside of this box. Okay, the text is now in the middle. Uh, if uh, I add another icon for this uh, action, uh, this area will be uh, smaller but uh, still the text will uh, stay in the middle of this area now let's uh, change the color of uh, this top app bar okay here the top app bar has the colors and uh, top app bar colors you should use this one at the end after the action a comma and colors and top up for default dot and here you have to choose which size of uh, action bar we are using i told you we are using the s small so here we are going to choose the s small top up or colors and list of the colors that we can change are here uh, so we are going to use the first one container color in this case and i'm going to copy and paste the color that i had in the example let's check it on the emulator Here we have this top up bar with three icon buttons and uh, now we can add the badge here. Okay. You can add the badge for all of the icons. Uh, just like the example, I'm going to choose this one to add the badge on. Here we need a badge box and you should drag and drop the icon inside it and the badge is composable so we need a bracket here inside it we can have a badge but this badge is so large if you want to change the size of it uh, you can add modifier for this badge as you can see it's even bigger than the icon itself so let me add modifier here No, I think it's better now. But remember, with uh, 10 dp, if you have a text to be shown inside this batch, you cannot do it. It will not be displayed. Uh, now let's customize the shape of uh, this top app bar. Uh, here on the top app bar, after the title, I'm going to add a comma and. Uh, modify dot let's start with the padding and maybe clip rounded corner shape and 20 
Okay, here is the top up bar. With rounded corner shape and the padding from all of the uh, corners, all of the area. Okay, uh, that's it for top up bar. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build this uh, plotting action button and how to customize it. Uh, if you want to see that video, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done and uh, give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. If you have any comment, any question, any suggestion, write them down in the comment box for me and I will be so happy to read and answer them. Thank you very much. Bye bye.